I'm Tara Oracle. Look what just arrived. It's the Teen Witch Tarot. Now, I do say that we've had a little bit of a satiated market with the teen and the witch categories, but I didn't order this anyway because I thought it looked cute. So I want to see it. This just literally arrived. I'm not even kidding. Like five minutes ago, I got the notification. So nice little box. It looks kind of cool. Let's get into it and see what's in here. All right, we have a nice plastic up deck with a book also contained within the plastic. Uh, let's see if we can cut this without slicing up our nice new tarot cards. That's always the preferred method. That satiating and ever so satisfying plastic release. All right, what do we got here? We got a little book. A little white book appears to be, oh, I would say 60 pages. 60 pages comes in multiple languages. Pretty traditional little white book. Let's take a look at what we got. So, uh, little LS, there is the back for anybody that is interested. And um, that's a cute fool. That's kind of cute. I mean, you're going to have sort of an expectation of a little bit of cuteness in here, but I do like that. That is really cute. And then we have the Magician, which was featured in the advertisement for this. So when they're doing the previews and all that, the Magician was heavily favored. And uh, let's see what else we got. High Priestess. That's kind of cute. I, I didn't think this would look this cute. I have to say. I had, had low expectations. And I would say this is fairly cute. Like, this would be wonderful for, like, somebody who's just sort of getting into tarot, to sort of want something fun, unusual, and all that. This would be really cool. The Empress. The mirror thing is kind of interesting. I've seen Empress with mirrors and whatnot. The book, where well, we do have the tour type thing with the owl, sort of with the wisdom and whatnot. Do you have the pillars with all of that? And as we get into the Empress, I think the... Not only the book, but the mirror is kind of interesting how they incorporated that in there. Now, the emperor, not really sure what's happening with that. Maybe the emperor turned into a frog. Is that the insinuation here? Is that the insinuation? The emperor turned into a frog? I'm not really sure what's going on. Not really sure what's happening there. Uh, anyway, the Hierophant. A little bit of a Gandalf feel, I gotta say. A little Gandalf feel in there. Then we have the lovers. Oh my, we got a little threesome situation going on there. He is uh, he is getting all handsy too. Look at this. So uh, not really sure what's happening. A little bit of a jealousy thing. A little bit of a uh, little bit of an uh, was that a garter? I'm not familiar with women's wear. A little bit of an offering, I would say. I don't know. I don't know if the uh, the bat is taking a dump up there or like what's the. What's the, what are the objects in the air? I'm not really sure what's happening with all of that. Um, but the chariot. We've seen this in the advertisement as well. I like it. I like where it's going. Pretty cool. Got the old school, old school TV antenna there. That's interesting. But uh, yeah, Justice also saw that in the advertisement. Kind of interesting. Got the scales. They're a little bit off balance, not fully. And the owl is back. Then we have the hermit. It's a pretty traditional hermit. A little bit of the Christmas tree feel going on the left there. But overall, that looks pretty cool. And let's see. Oh my, we got the wheel. We got a uh, we got riding the wheel and riding apparently that 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 fellow as well or that person as well. Well, there you go. It's interesting sort of the foliage going on there. Strength. Looks like a, not really sure why they're attacking her. That doesn't look, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Is she holding a root? Or is that some type of a creature? Not really sure what's happening there. Not really sure what's in the back pocket. What's going on with the back pocket? Let's zoom in here. Um, is that her phone? I think that's her phone. I mean, it's the Teen Witch Terror. So then we have a bat and the hanged man. Sort of makes sense a little bit. Makes a little bit of sense there. And death with the sickle, the scythe. Sorry, not the sickle. Scythe. And what else we got? Got the temperance. 
also saw this on the advertisement. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. So the, the mushrooms. Got a little shrooms going on in there. And the devil. All right. They're sort of high-fiving each other. It looks like they're having fun. The devil's got it rocking and going on. The devil's got a little bit of the whip. Got a little bit of that whip action going there. And then the tower. That looks really cool. This is just a fun deck. This is just a fun... I'm really going to look forward to reading with this deck. This is really fun. I, I didn't think it would be this fun. I thought it was going to be kind of lame. Star. Um, I'm not sure what the cat's doing. But I do like that. That is kind of cool. Uh, oops, sorry. And then the moon. That is pretty. That is pretty. This is really sort of blowing me away, I got to say. I, I mean, it's not going to be like in my top 10 decks or anything. I'm just saying that I'm... I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised at just how good this looks. The moon. I mean, this is very obviously oriented to like first timers, teens, whatnot. But I'm, I'm going to have fun reading with it. And the sun. I like that. It looks very cool indeed. Very cool. I like the, the fun, the writing there. Um, and then judgment. I'm not sure. They birthing something out of that, out of that basket. Is that what's going on? A little birth out of the basket? I'm not really sure. But, yeah, you know, finally the world. We're back to the shrooms and the spiders and the bugs. And, you know, just sort of having fun with everything. And that's sort of the, the idea behind the deck. Is we're just having fun with everything. And the Ace of Cups. I like it. So, you know, cute. It looks like a little ramen noodles or something going on in there. I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not judging the, the soup. And then the Two of Cups. Sort of, um, I'm not sure what's going on there. The Two of Cups. Why do we have like a wet leaf? So we have a wet leaf and a brew. And we have some, uh, this could be fun to read with. I mean, we could do all sorts of interpretations of the pathway signs and whatnot. And then the Three of Cups. A little bit of the, almost like a Two of Cups action. to got a skateboard and a book, a sort of after school loving or whatnot, and uh, the four. I have no idea why that tray is on the back of that uh, goat. I'm not sure what's happening. We got a donkey, we got a goat. I mean, if you have a goat and a donkey at your party, th that's a party. Five of Cups, a little disappointment. Not sure what is happening there either. Maybe the book sort of elucidates a little bit of the detail on here. Six of Cups. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Again, I'm not sure what's happening with half of these. Seven of Cups. Yeah. It's almost like that should have been the Six of Cups. I guess, I guess we have different choices. We have different pathways that we can choose and whatnot. And the Eight of Cups is like a disappointing and leaving, but it seems to be reimagined. Not sure. I guess the voodoo doll? Does she have an official voodoo doll? Is that what's going on there? So um, the Nine of Cups, again, sort of this falling over, falling over, falling out. Um, again, heavily, heavily reimagined. And then the Ten of Cups, I mean, not so much, sort of hanging things out the window and whatnot. And then the Page of Cups. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. It looks more like a sort of a Page of Cups. Not really sure what we're doing in love. And then the Knight of Cups, Mr. Romance himself. Got a basket or a brew hanging over him. I wonder if it's kind of a, a spell that they cast over him. This is, this is interesting. I, I've got to read about the reinterpretations at this point. Queen of Cups. Very pretty. Sort of, you know, jovial, having fun, talking to the animals. And then the King of Cups. So a little bit of dancing, a little bit of a ritual, a ceremony or a ritual going on there with the brew. All right. Now we're down to the Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, we got a message. We have a message and we're reading it. It's almost like a message came in. Yeah, it's going to be fun to read. There's so much to key off of. Two of Pentacles, we have choices. Apparently one of the choices is to... Um, Shove this lady backwards into the rocks. I'm not sure what's going on. And hit her with a, and smack her with a leaf or a big uh, wreath or something. I'm not sure what's happening there. She doesn't look, doesn't look pleasant, whatever it is. 
And then the three of pentacles, you know, a little bit of work. We're doing a little bit of the work feel there. And it looks like we're going to do it with a knife. And then the four, again, um, yeah, four pentacles, like we're emerging from somewhere. Or like we have an invasion of birds, it feels. Yeah, this is a complete reinterpretation. And then the five of pentacles. Um, I'm assuming the book covers this. I'm assuming the book covers this stuff. Like, what, what in the world is happening on there? Uh, safe passage, six of swords, being protected, crossing a bridge. So I, I, sorry, I got to stop. I got to stop and figure out what, what in the world's happening with this. All right, we got the wands, we got the cups. All right, so the five of pentacles. Kind of curious as like, what is happening with this particular pentacle? Um, so let's see. We got swords, and we got wands. We got pentacles. Five of pentacles says night is falling and a flock of crows are swarming overhead. There is no shelter for this pair as the chilly evening settles in. Um, okay. I mean, I never would have sort of figured that out if it wasn't for the book, but sure. Okay. And the six of pentacles falling over, having a bit of a giving, having a bit of a giving. Again, complete re reinterpretation pretty much of the standard right away. And then the seven of pentacles looks like that we are trying something, trying something, not really sure what's happening. And then the Eight of Pentacles, we're doing a little artwork, a little artwork, doing the artwork. Looks That looks like it should be the Three of Pentacles, quite frankly. And then the Nine of Pentacles, celebration, having fun, playing the music, get the butterfly on. And the Ten, ooh, the Ten, we have a little journey, a little Six of Swords action there in the journey. I like it, I like it. Then we have the Page of Pentacles. Not really sure what he is doing, but he is juggling like the magician over here. Look at that. He's got some of the objects on the ground as well. Then the Knight of Pentacles, a little bit of a hanging out, literally sort of hanging out. It's kind of a, a reverse fool where they're just going to get back up on the rock. And the Queen, again, we have the, the water dripping from the, I assume there's some mystical, magical meaning for that. We have the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles looks like that he hired a, uh, looks like he's hired a couple of escorts. Yeah, he's got a little incense going on, got a couple of escorts. I'm not really sure what's happening there. I'm not sure if he just burned her ass with that, with that rod. I th it kind of looks like it. I don't know if that's, you know, if she's into that, but that looks like that he just put a, he just put that rod right on there and just stamped her. All right. Now we have the Ace of Wands. Finally, the Wands. We are doing a little bit more of the ritualistic circles. And then the Two of Wands is kind of fun. The Two of Wands, we got a, a little bit of the domain action going there. We have the Three of Wands as we're sort of looking on where to go next. We have a um, Hogwarts air battle between the frog and the dragon. Uh, looks like the frog is at a slight disadvantage there. I mean, if you ask me. We got four of wands, a little bit of the five of swords action here. Taking a rest, warming up by the fire, you know what I mean? Taking a little nap there. The mouse is sort of nipping at our toe. We got a little bit of mouse eating the foot action. I mean, you know, could be bad. And then we have the, the making up the goat. It's the goat man. And the goat man has a very stylish earring, I gotta say. They're pretty proud of themselves. Or maybe a goat woman, I'm not really sure with the, uh, if that is uh, a blouse. Again, sort of unidentified. And then we have um, somebody, looks like the goat ate her, uh, ate, her, uh, ate her clothes. The frog and the cat, not sure what's going on there. She looks kind of cold. It looks cold. If somebody has eaten her clothes, the goat has devoured all my clothes. What shall I do now? And then the seven of wands. We, a little fire in the background, but we're trading stuff. I'll give you my mirror if you give me your balls. So, yeah, you know, he's going to offer up his balls and uh, getting a mirror in return. I would say that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good deal, you know, overall. And the eight of wands, a little bit of the action motion and whatnot. Looks like the frog has farted and the, the gaseous nature has produced a man. 
So that's if you can get a man from a, a frog fart, I think that's going to be a winner. I think that you have a a very good productive system going there. He's he's fully dressed and everything. Looks like he's jacked. I mean, you know, he does. He didn't skip leg day. I think that we have a winner there. All right. And the nine of wands, trying to read a book, but the spider's on there. So do we do we knock off the spider or does the spider, uh, is the spider like a Kindle uh, or like the Kindle voice, you know, where it just reads it to you? It could be something like that. Earring is a bit unusual, a little moon earring there. And the ten of wands, we have spilt things everywhere. What have you done now? Don't step on anything. I'm holding an apple. I'm holding an apple by the fire. Everything is spilt all over the floor. Um, so, yeah, the page of wands. We're dancing by the fire. We're being watched by our donkeys. We have the, we have the 90s boom box. We have the 90s boom box. That is very classy. I got to say, the 90s boom box is back in. So you thought it was out. You thought it was out. I've seen it at Best Buy. I've seen these things at Best Buy. We just need a little dancing uh, near the boom box. Okay. Knight of Wands, another Hogwarts battle. We're flying kites, though. Flying kites in space, apparently, because there's wind in space. Okay, so, yeah, the Queen of Wands. We have a, um, a very bitter person with thread or yarn. We have a very bitter person who is unraveling this yarn. They are not happy about it at all. Um, this is not something that they enjoy doing. It, uh, she looks like she's about to slap somebody with the ball of yarn. Not ball. I'm sorry. It's like a, a little a spool of a said yarn. And we're back in space where it's snowing or raining. Um, we have lights. We have lights because uh, fire exists in space. And we're riding along with a whip. And we have a sideways umbrella. And now the rabbit is uh, eating something and we're offering it an apple and we're about to stab it. We're about to kill the rabbit. Um, I guess this is how that we make the stew. I guess this is how we make the rabbit stew. We offer the rabbit something nice and then we stab it with the knife. So if you need to terminate a rabbit in quick order, this appears to be a good distraction. I would say the apple. I would have done a carrot. Not, not, I mean, hashtag not all rabbits, but I would have offered a carrot because in the movies, the rabbits like the carrot, but uh, the apple seems to be a good substitute. And then the rabbit apparently falls asleep and you stab him. Okay. Um, the two of swords, we have a, um, uh, maybe two people trying to fight over the broom. Maybe they're trying to levitate the broom. We have the green goblin from the Spider-Man movies. Everybody loves the Green Goblin. Let's hear it for the Green Goblin. The Green Goblin has dropped a bag of apples, and he is or she is ready to do some wickedness. All right, the Three of Swords. Nobody's favorite at all. We are looking back to the right here in disgust. Something bad is happening over there because she looks really pissed off. So... You know, got somebody riding away looking at it too. Whatever is over here is bad. I get that. And now we have the rats circling the drain. Her, her broom is broken, so she has no transportation. So she's going to have to call an Uber, an Uber broom to come pick her up. Meanwhile, the rats are just waiting for her to fall asleep so they can eat her. Um, yeah. Okay, and then the Five of Swords. Here we go. We need to do some cleaning up. Look at this mess. I got a broom. I have to clean it up. It functions as a cleaning utensil and a ride. This is nice. Somebody did drop their bag. Now, now we have to decide. Do we, do we return somebody's bag or do we sniff through it like a little nosy person? You don't know what we're going to do until you know what we're going to do. And the Six of Swords. We're taking a journey um, yeah, we're taking a little bit of a journey across the bridge and looking up and we're all excited. But then, but then we land on a mushroom and, you know, the one sister, I guess, has to tie the braids while the other one has to hold the, the, uh, the, the string. So you got to help each other out. You got to, if you have a helper, everything is always easy, especially if you're shoving a rock 
if you're shoving a rock out of the way, having a helper is kind of necessary. I'm just saying, you know, we're flying our broom and we have an obstacle in the way. We got to move it. So let's get this rock and let's shove it down the cliff right on top of the dude that's beating the hell out of this woman. If we can shove it onto that dude, we can shove the rock and hit him. That's the ideal situation there. It's going to solve this problem because he's just beating her, just beating her with this thing. I mean, he it does look a little devilish. That's cool. He's got the little claws on the foot. That's pretty cool. But that's not cool, you know. You can't. You gotta. You gotta treat women nice. You can't be beating them with a broom. That, that, that not recommended. Hashtag not all demons. Hashtag not all demons. Um, some demons seems to be worse than others. The the ten of swords though. Um, you know, the vulture stole my broom. Gonna have to call an Uber. You have to call an Uber broom or a, 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 a boober. Is that it? An Uber with a broom. Is that a boober? I think that's it. That could possibly be it. But she doesn't look happy that her ride's gone. That's for damn sure. All right. Now we have the uh, award ceremony where we're all going to gather around and we're all going to have some pumpkins with weird faces in them. We There's no light in the pumpkins, you know. We kind of we kind of had to... We kinda had to uh, improvise this Halloween. I guess it was too cheap to buy a candle to put in the pumpkin and make it look cute. We're just going to carry it like a severed head. That's okay. That's all, no, no judging. In the Knight of Swords, we have a, we have some lights. We have some lights and, and she needs some clothes. She needs a few more clothes. That's okay. That's all right. She's got the light ceremony. When the lights are all bright, everybody's going to notice that she's naked. Okay. And the Queen of Swords. Well, the, there you go. All right, we're all happy with the Queen of Swords. We are happy. We got the child. We got the the two panthers. I don't know what they are. They have a very pronounced butt, though. That is a big butt crack for a uh, for a feline. I mean, that is very pronounced butt crack. I'm not sure where we're going with that. That is that's really sort of disturbing me. Um, I've, I've never seen a feline with just a just a pronounced butt crack like that. Uh, maybe that's a thing. All right. Speaking of butts, we're sniffing the donkey's butt. All right. You're first, and then you, you, and you. But you got to get a good sniff. Let the donkey fart, and then just waft it into your face. That's going to be how it ends with the King of Swords. By the way, we have one extra card, and that is it. I mean, you know, I joke, but obviously this is a, a rather pronounced uh, reinterpretation of the Rider Waite Smith. So I mean, if you do if you do get this for somebody new, they're going to be extremely confused when they pick up any other deck. Um, but anyway, but I mean, it, it does it does explain the cards within the little white book and whatnot. So if you're looking for the wands and all that, it does explain some of the cards. Um, but overall, I think it's a cute deck. It's just radically, radically different than what you would than what you would see in a normal rider weight and, and again i'm kind of i'm kind of confused where they're going with it because normally if i have a cute uh deck like this for i would aim it towards maybe a teen or a beginner or something like that just familiarize yourself with tarot but then at the end of the at the end of all of that they're going to be uh, they're not really going to know sort of where to go with a regular standard rider weight interpretations anyway Overall, I like the art. I think it's great. I can't wait to read with it. Um, has a bunch of funny moments, but I think I think it's a win. I think it's a win. Obviously, it's not going to be your, your go-to deck, but I think it's really cute, and I think that it has a lot of good symbolism that, that takes you into a new direction you would not have gone before. So I like it. I like it. Very cute. De definitely worth the the $17 or whatever I paid. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe.